Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say thank you for the support. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to get 100,000 subscribers, so if you want to help me out, make sure to subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Seventy eight, seventy nine, eighty, no, oh, hey, firecracker. I'm just doing a few exercises, that's all. Yeah, you can join me. <sighs> no, of course, I always do that many push-ups. How else do you think I can keep these arms so strong and whatnot? Yeah, of course. Well, I mean, when it comes to exercising, I'm kind of, uh... Up to par with it, to say none the least. Well, I mean, I almost get to... Well, my personal best is around 92. I think I broke that today. I think I was at 93 before you started talking to me. Yeah, I'm almost at my goal. I want to reach a... Uh, oh, when is it? A hundred. A hundred push-ups. Mm -hmm. I've been training ever since I've been a hero. I've gotten this far, so why stop now? I also need to work on my squats, uh, sit-ups, and I also had to do some dumbbells as well. Uh, speaking of, could you get me the 40-pound one right there? Yeah, thank you. <sighs> so, what's up, Firecracker? Well, you can see I'm training right now. What about you? What have you been up to, training-wise? Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. Maybe someday you'll be able to get some muscle mass, like me, or even Mirko. <clears throat> I'm not doubting your strength. It's just from a physical form, as in, like, visual. It doesn't show much. But eventually, it'll show up. You just need to keep pushing yourself. And also eat, eat uh, a lot of... Uh, Appropriate foods to make sure your muscles get more tone. Or even you could try bulking. It might gain a few extra pounds, but after that you can all work it out into muscle instead of fat. I did that once. <clears throat> it worked pretty well. I mean, look at me. I'm in better shape than I was when I started UA. <clears throat> Yeah. It gets me something to do on my days off. <clears throat> Whew. Well, of course you gotta take some days off for yourself. You don't want to work o overwork your muscles. You'll be sore every day. Mm-hmm. I learned that the hard way. One time... When I was training too hard, I think I pulled muscles in my shoulders, my chest, and in my arms. My whole top part of my upper half of my body, sore. I couldn't basically get out of bed without hurting something. I had to go to recovery girl not even like five times out of that whole week. I think it was, I think it was a week. 
It was either a week or two, I'm not sure, but I went to Recovery Girl almost every other day. Mm-hmm. You gotta know your limits. In short, you gotta learn how to control yourself. Control your body, because that body right there is a pyramid. And you can't have a proper pyramid without proper structure. Does that make sense, Firecracker? Yeah, all right. I would hope that makes sense. <laughs> Not sure. I think I'm um uh, I think I'm going to go out to get something to eat. Uh, it's my cheat day, so after I'm done here exercise, I might go to a fast food joint. Not sure. I think I'm I'm craving chicken, but uh I wouldn't mind some, uh, katsudon. Especially, like, the spicy katsudon. I know a restaurant that makes some really good stuff. Yeah, they use all sorts of spices in the, in the panko flakes. Mix it up, and it, mm, it's so good. It makes a nice exterior for, like, a spicy crunch. And the meat's always tender and juicy. It's a succulent place. Yeah, I don't mind if you join me. Don't mind at all. Are you going to pay for your own meal? If not, I can pay for it. <sighs> don't worry. I have plenty of money. Don't worry about it. I've been there so many times, it's basically family. No, I don't use my hero name around them. They know who I am. A lot of people do. But I don't use my name of a hero to try to get some sort of discount or anything like that. You don't do that, do you, Firecracker? Okay. Good. Because if you did, I would have to shame you here. <laughs> but yeah, I can take you to that uh, place. After we're um, done here. Right, right. But besides hero work and training, how have you been? That's good to hear. I'm glad you're getting settled in. Mm-hmm. I know you're used to being at home, but with everything going on and Izuku being back, we have to keep him protected at the UA Academy. Living in the dorms not my specialty because I used to live in my own place, but now since all the heroes are basically out of order, we need to make sure everyone who's at that facility is safe. And Principal Nezu has showed us recently that there's going to be underground bunkers just in case if there's a uh, emergency if the security systems go faulty or anything like that, or the heroes break down the walls and stuff. He told us it's in a grid of some sort, and when there's a sense of danger approaching them, they will go underground into these tunnels and stuff. And then there's reinforced, like, steel and stuff under the ground, and it'll reinforce the ground to see if, to not see, but to make sure that nothing can get out or in. Yeah. He spent almost... He spent a lot of his money to protect us. Principal Nezu is uh, very protective over his students. Yeah. But luckily, we have a lot of people on our side. So if a villain or the LOV does come in here, we'll take care of them. Right, right. <laughs> Shut up. Now, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I remember. So, with everything going on as it is, the Spring Festival is going to be held in the uh, walls of UA. 
There's going to be a lot of helpers there because most of the students and pro heroes are inside. Are you helping out by any chance? Oh, you are? You're going with Izuku? All right, cool. I'll see you there. I'm going to be helping out with others and maybe even getting some food and whatnot. Yeah, it's going to be a fun festival. I can already tell. All right. Hey, can you uh, spot me while I do these uh, bench presses real quick? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. I'll be, I'll be uh, laying down on the seat. I'll be waiting for you. 